wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. Our friends from Palm Bay were in here. First thing to start off the new year and uh, well with some old friends. Say some new vintages of some old friends like this Cheruzzi and Puthode from Terra de Tufi. And this is a unique blend. 70% Vernaccia, 30% Chardonnay. It spends one year in new French oak. Something also unique. You don't see a lot of wines at this price point in Italy that spend a year in French oak at $18 a bottle. It's really something of an anomaly. And uh, this one's got a lot of that, a little bit of that toasty oak spice, that vanilla note on the nose, some fresh flor flowers, pears, and apple fruit, with a nice tangerine zest there as well. Like I said, a very unique wine. It has a little nutty character on the finish, a little bitter almond to the cantaloupe and melon-like fruit. Really refreshing, but has some refinement and some complexity here as well. A uh, very good little wine at $18. All right, and then we have the Selen Mosca Cananao de Sardinia, which uh, this is one of the five areas of the world which they've designated as a blue zone, which uh, means the wine, there's people there that live to be over 100 years old. Hey, as long as I can still drink my bottle, two bottles of wine a day, I'm happy to live to be 100. And, uh, well, this wine's got a lot of press because of the level of antioxidants that could have something to do with uh, why people live so long. Supposedly, the wines of Sardinia, the highest level of antioxidants of any wines. Anyways, this wine's got a good amount of floral notes on the nose, some incense, some spice, some dried meat-like characters, really exotic, and uh, red berry fruit, uh, eucalyptus, a cornucopia of different aromas here. On the lighter side on the palate, though, some red berry fruit, but that unique array of uh, flowers, herbs, and spice from the nose coming through on the finish. Very exotic. A very good little wine at $18. Very unique. All right, the Cold Orchard Brunello di Montalcino up next. This, the Count Cinzano. Uh, this is a very important property in uh, Montalcino. And uh, the 2009, a very forward and drinkable vintage for Brunello. Uh, I don't think any of the wines got 100 points, but uh, hey, it's a very consistent area. They produce very good, excellent, to most excellent wines, rather, every single year here. Nines, they just drink them a little earlier. But uh, some nice wild strawberry fruit, pretty floral notes, hints of wild herbs, sage, rosemary, porcini-like earthy notes, nice complexity here, a good amount of that tart cherry fruit on the palate, wild strawberries, some smooth, silky tannins, really nice balance in this wine, maybe a little bit short on the finish, but very pleasant and well-balanced, excellent juice at 60 all right, the Planeta Cerasuolo de Vittoria, which is the only DOCG in Tuscany. Or DOC in Tuscany? One of the two. Anyways, this is a blend of Frappato and Nero Diavolo. To keep up with the DOC and DOCG laws in Italy, you really have to pay attention. Anyways, uh, this is a really pretty and unique wine as well. It's got strawberry, pretty floral notes, some cranberry, a uh, really good amount of that red berry fruit showing through on the palate, and a unique mineral minerality to the finish, almost like a crushed rock note, and uh, that floral nuance from the nose showing on the finish. Excellent juice, lovely complexity here. Just a really unique unique wines, the wines of a Sicily. And uh, the Mazzi, Fantorutini Chianti Classico, up next, one of our favorite producers, and this wine's got a little Mavai Zanero, Colorino, and Merlot in it. It's got that classic earth you get from Chianti, 2011, maybe not quite as good as 2010, but a very good vintage here. And this wine's got a dark color, it's got a lot of rustic Chianti earthy notes to it, and uh, some wild strawberry, uh, dark plum fruit, really big and nice structure on the palate as well. It's got that earthy black truffle, really well built here on the finish. Uh, you notice this wine, uh, it's got a little bit of length on the palate. Excellent juice, a classic Chianti, $30 a bottle, a great little value, man. All right, Matsai, the uh, Philippe wine, which is uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from Tuscany and, uh, well, from the Chianti region of Tuscany and from Bulgari, the Bulgari region of Tuscany. So the two estates that these guys own and uh, spends two years in French oak barrels. And uh, it's only the second vintage of this wine made to commemorate the special relationship uh, this family has with our country, our founding fathers, um, one of the ancestors here uh, created the phrase, all men are created equal. Pass it on to one of our founding fathers, Thomas Jefferson, and this is why uh, we have a special relationship here with the uh, uh, people in Tuscany. And uh, this wine has got a good amount of dark currant, dark plum-like fruit, graphites, bittersweet mocha notes, fine tannins, really fresh earth and herbs showing through all the way to the end. Really long layered wine. It's classic Cabernet, but you have that Tuscan minerality and earthiness, some chalky notes. This wine's got plenty of fruit to match, just needs time. Most excellent juice. And that's what we had to drink with our friends from Palm Bay. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.